So this is part uh, five of our series on uh, Zotero for WVU library users. And this last section is going to focus on the uh, magic of Zotero within Microsoft Word. So here's an example of a pretend paper. And you notice that up here, if, if you've properly installed Zotero, there's going to be a Zotero option up here on your uh, Microsoft Word ribbon. So clicking on that Zotero ribbon, you notice there are just a few buttons. Document Preferences is where you choose which citation style. I'm going to demo in APA. And once you've set your document preferences, you simply determine where you need to add a citation. Click on the Add Edit Citation button. Use that quick Zotero pop-up box to enter a title or title word or author name. Here, you click on the source that you imported to open up that pop-up window that lets you enter a page number. To exit out of that pop-up window, you just click Enter. So here's we're adding another source. Type in your keyword, select the source, click again on that citation you just entered, and you get a pop-up box where you can enter page numbers and hit Enter to exit out. And here's, here's another one. Add Edit. Search for the source you want. Select the source, click again to enter any page numbers, hit enter to close out that pop-up box. Now if you realize you need to enter another citation, because sometimes you'll have two citations, you simply click on the one that you've already entered, put in your search terms, select the new source, the second source, click on it, add your page number, hit enter and enter, and now you've got your two citations. What if you notice that there's something that's incorrectly spelled? Rather than making the correction in Microsoft Word, go back to Zotero, click on My Library, search for the source you need to correct, select that source, and in the right-hand pane, make the correction to whichever field is wrong, and then when you come back to Microsoft Word, use the Refresh button in the upper left, and the correction will come through. And when you've completed your paper, you can use the Add Edit Bibliography button to create your Works Cited or Bibliography list. And that's how easy it is to use the Zotero ribbon in Microsoft Word.